The county by county analysis, you did not find a correlation between physical activity and obesity. Why do you think that was? Well, first, the improvement in physical activity is important on its own, and we need to focus on that. So as the nation increases its physical activity, that's a tremendous impact on our health. So we have to take that positive message. The association between physical activity and obesity is a balance between your diet and your physical activity. And unfortunately, in the U.S., as Americans increase their physical activity, they have also increased their caloric intake. And we haven't, at the individual level, reached a balance that will level our weight and gradually decline it. And what does geography say about our health? There are a lot of the patterns in geography in the U.S. And unfortunately, what we have seen in the southeast, there are a lot of disparities. And these traditionally counties have been at a disadvantage due to socioeconomic status, due to their behavior as well, which is physical activity, obesity, diet. So would you say obesity is a risk factor, or is it actually a disease? Well, it has been classified recently as a disease. Uh, our Traditionally, what we have viewed physical uh, obesity, we have viewed it as a risk factor because it's a strongly associated with many other diseases such as diabetes, blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, Any way you look at it, it's a major player in our health in the United States and we should tackle it. So what would you say these studies, the JAMA study and the two county by county analyses, say about the American healthcare system? We in the United States debate health more than anybody else. I mean, <laughs> that's the environment that we are in. Unfortunately, the debate shouldn't be how much money we spend on health care. It should be, are we getting our money's worth? And we are not. Clearly, we are not in the United States. We should step back a little bit and look at the bigger picture. And it's time to introduce prevention, time to focus on these risk factors. Uh, we are falling behind when we compare ourselves to our peers in the world. What would you advise physicians who are looking at these studies and trying to apply it to their own patients? I would say for physicians they have to be more aggressive in treating some of these risk factors, especially among women. What we have seen in our study that females don't do as well as men in controlling the risk factors, blood pressure, cholesterol, and diabetes. And my advice would be for women themselves to understand that cardiovascular diseases, risk factors, are major cause of morbidity and mortality for women. I would advise physicians to be more aggressive in treating these conditions among women because our old approach was for a man. If a man has above 50 has some of these risk factors, we feel as sex being a male is a risk factor, and we should now be more aggressive when it comes to women as well.